Hi guys and welcome to Coffee with My Sunshine. Thanks for joining me for another DIY. Today's DIYs are going to be fall themed, but they don't have to be. So I was trying to come up with different ways that you could share or pass down family recipes as gifts. I'm also going to be using a technique that I've never used. It's a way of transferring things by saran wrap, which sounded really interesting to me. So if you would like to see how I made these, please keep watching. So to start with, I took a book that I already had and my thought was to get like a blank book, you know, those ones that you can get with um, just blank pages on the inside. But for this, I wanted to make my own little book cover. So I wanted to use this new technique using saran wrap. And for this one, all I used was a Dollar Tree napkin and I separated the, I guess there's two or three plies sometimes on these napkins, but this one had two and I separated them and just used the top. Then took some saran wrap and you wanna lay the saran wrap down on the object that you're transferring to and then put down the, um, the picture or whatever that you're transferring. And then over that, you just lay a plain piece of paper and iron it and you're going to want to iron for a couple minutes and keep checking to make sure the edges and stuff are sealing and I use the highest setting on my iron and because this was um, my first time doing this, for some reason the edges lifted. I'm sure I will work out the kinks as I do this more. So I just went with it and decided to make this more of a rustic look by um, distressing the edges. And I thought it would be cool to actually use this as um, a way to share recipes and maybe just write some in there from the family and pass them down, you know, if somebody is getting married or for a housewarming gift. So after sanding the edges to give it a worn look, I just took the iron again over the top with the piece of paper on the top just to seal it down and make sure it was all good. And if you have any of the saran wrap stuck to the book, you can just kind of peel those off with your nail or you might even be able to wipe them off with a damp rag. So I thought this would be cute. Like I said, this isn't a blank book, but that was what I had in mind. And then you can just add recipes um, for the gift and then it leaves blank pages for them to add recipes as you know time goes on. For this next one, I saw this cutting board at Goodwill and thought it would be awesome to add a recipe to. And of course you could use a brand new one. I just thought of this idea when I saw it. And yes, I ended up taking the sticker off and scrubbed it. And then here I'm just trying to figure out the placement of this recipe. This is one that my mom had given me a long time. She had made a copy of one that she had. So I thought it would be fun to use. I'm gonna use the same technique, putting the saran wrap down first, adding the recipe, and then just ironing over the top. And this is gonna take a little bit longer because, because it is thicker. It's just um, regular paper. And it seemed to work pretty well. The corner lifted a little bit, so I just laid the paper back down and ironed it again. And that worked great. And I think it looks really cool. And you could decorate the edges if you wanted. And there's that saran wrap that <laughs> stuck to it. You can just scrape it off with your nail. And like I said, you can add more embellishments or um, decorate around the recipe. I just decided to add a tag and put um, whose recipe it is and I'm going to actually get a recipe from my mother-in-law and put it on the opposite side. I think it would be cute to have it um, so that <laughs> there's two recipes on there. 
And then I just, um, like I said, used a tag that I had made and put whose recipe it was and then added a little bit of greenery so that it would make a really pretty gift. Now for this next one, I'm obviously using a Dollar Tree pumpkin and I wanted to carve it out because I thought it would be really cute to, I'm doing a pumpkin roll recipe and originally I wanted to carve it out and then add, you know, the ingredients to go into the recipe. Like I said, these are going to be, these are like gift ideas. So I thought it would be cool to add the ingredients from the recipe that you're giving inside the pumpkin. So that's originally why I painted this white because I was going to try and Mod Podge the recipe onto it and I didn't want it to look like just paper stuck on a pumpkin. So I kind of wanted it to blend. After many attempts of trying to add this recipe onto the pumpkin with Mod Podge, I decided to give up and do it a different way because there were so many bumps and curves and stuff and I just couldn't get the recipe to lay right on the pumpkin. So obviously this way wasn't working so I decided to switch it up a little bit and do the same type of thing but not on the pumpkin. So I decided to decorate the pumpkin first after I had painted it white because it was kind of boring to me and I was going to use puffy paint. Well the puffy paint lid um, was jammed so I was squeezing it really hard <laughs> which is something I don't suggest, probably poke a pin through it. But anyway, I was squeezing it really hard and it ended up exploding and <laughs> launching the lid across the room. And here is the mess that I am left with. It got all over the floor, all over the furniture, on the walls, on the little palette that I use. It was everywhere. I even found some on the ceiling. <laughs> So I just recommend poking a pin and not squeezing really hard if there is a clog. Anyway, I wanted to use this puffy paint because I think it turns out really cool in the end. I did this one time on a bottle and it looked awesome and plus it's fun to use. So I went ahead and just in the little indentions just did um, some dots down the pumpkin and I ended up going in each of the grooves. So then for the recipe, I ended up layering a little label just like I did for the last one with some scrapbook paper, canvas, and the recipe. And then on the back of that is the same sort of thing, but the recipe for the filling. And after I made that, I just went ahead and attached some greenery that I had wrapped with twine. And then I'm going to take a little bit of twine and wrap around the stem. And here's the fun part. This is where you put the ingredients for the pumpkin roll or whatever recipe you have. Put it in the pumpkin and I think that's super cute. Obviously there's stuff that you don't want to pack in the pumpkin or that won't fit. Um, and then I just took this little spatula that says mix and joy. And then this is where I'm going to be attaching the recipe card. And then I think this would just be a super cute gift, whether you're bringing it to give to a host or like I said, a, a wedding, a housewarming, or just because. I think it's really sweet to give recipes, especially that you're handing down from family. And here's everything all finished. So let me know in the comments below if you guys like receiving gifts like this. I know I do, I think it's super special and I really cherish those types of things and I have my own little booklet that I keep all of our family recipes in from my family and the ones that have come from my husband's, husband's family. And let me know which one was your favorite. Thanks so much for watching guys and I'll talk to you next time. Bye!